So when I was reviewing Fort Max, I mentioned I didn't have a spike to go with my Cerebros. And a friend of mine, Islip Coco Liso, offered a solution. Hey, you guy, sounds to me like maybe you could use a JB Destruction Lord to solve your little Cerebros Headmaster conundrum you got for yourself there. Oh yeah, and once you get him, make sure you review him. And trails. <laughs> so heeding the advice of Bobcat Goldwaith, I picked up JB Destruction Lord, which is a triple changing Headmaster Megatron. Now this isn't swag, it's swank. A nicely detailed replicant of a non-likeness infringing Megatron. Mmm, Trey Magnifique. He's got the look and the firepower of everyone's favorite Decepticon leader voiced by Frank Welker. Not to mention awesome little details like fists sculpted in on the inside of the treads. Due to transformation, his legs are crazy articulate, which means you'll be dancing the night away. There are some small problems, and yes, I mean that quite literally. These arms have all the same range of movement as a plank of wood. The only thing you can get Destruction Lord to do with them at all is karate chop action, and the wave. And I guess whatever this dance move was from the 70s. Yet for his size class, this guy puts the official toys to shame. Can Creon Megatron also transform into a tank? Keep your arms at your sides at all times. Put your head down, flip the feet over the body, and reposition the gun, I guess for some added firepower. And look at that. You got yourself a miniature armored pill bug with rocket pod feet and an additional cannon at the side. This rocket pod totem vehicle mode, completely superfluous. Can't imagine the battles I'll be reenacting where I need a vehicle this small. Hell, this guy looks like he can arm a mini con. But you know what? It's nice that it's there and that I have the option. But the coup de grace has to be that third and final mode, which is the whole reason you buy the toy anyway. So you take the legs and put them behind the head. How many of you have always wanted to say that to your special someone? Make sure they're secured, turn it around, and flip the plate on the back to reveal the Headmaster Megatron that has a gun attached to the side of his ear. Yeah, I'm leaving it. Reminds me of G1 Devastator. Now finally, I have a cheap alternative to replace the missing Headmaster on my Cerebros. So I just take Megatron like so, stick him on there, and he actually stays pretty tight. Very cool! A Megatron Headmaster sitting on the Autobot Cerebros. Oh yeah, also make sure that smaller head on the Destruction Lord is popping out of the bottom. That way it acts as a prong that'll make the power stats on your Headmaster revealed. Ah, a match made in hell! Crush, kill, destroy, swag. Crush, kill, destroy, swag. 